what you do what I'm doing right now. the big two. event it's time we have the main event of the night here we go we have vash sky versus the critical drinker so one's in his late 30s the other's in his early 40s wait time is minimal for both of them their strengths are knowledge innocence writer and sarcasm i need to put that back up and uh, Vash Guy's weakness is that he obviously knows Jonas. So that 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 that'll pull you down every time. Wow. And uh, the critical drinker, well, he, he's a he's a Brit. And uh, the morning, so th those things are kind of working against him right now. So they they've been through a lot, the two of them. So keep that in mind, who they've faced and gone up against. And uh, I think Vash Guy is actually the underdog a little bit in this fight, just for the whole like you know, publicity thing. So, uh, Critical Drinker, he has over 2 million subscribers. Vash Guy, he's, he's working with a bunch of people that don't. So, um, there you go. Um, so, here we go. YouTuber Showdown Final Battle. Now, we will start with Marvin the Movie Monster. Oh boy! So, yeah, we, we're gonna put opening it on match. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna right. on the music just a smidgen. There we go. And three drop, two, one. Got a minute? Go. All right. Vash walks into a bar. Uh, bartender okay. says, "Why the long face?" He says, "I'm here to fight, and I'm here to fight that guy." He points to the to the other side of the bar where the critical drinker has been sitting all day. He says to the drinker, that's it. It's time. Let's do this. The drinker doesn't want to. He says, go away now. And, but Vash isn't having it. Vash isn't having it. He actually takes the drinker's drink and he throws it down. The drinker gets up. He's throwing those big Scottish hands. He's knocking Vash through tables. Vash, however, gets his legs up, knocks him behind the bar. But while he's behind the bar, the critical drinker has been imbibing some of Scotland's greatest whiskey. And he rises up like Popeye with spinach. He hops over the bar. He lifts Vash over his head. He puts him down with the big Scottish power bomb. And like Drew McIntyre... Mm. Ends up getting his hand raised at the end, the critical drinker. I'm sorry, Vash. I love you dearly, but you're not beating the drunken Scotsman. Wow. That was beautiful. Intense. Mainly because Jonas' friend got beat. And so that, that makes me feel better. Well, All right. Fired. Well, I, I, you know. No, you're yeah, consistent. Right, that, that makes us feel better. All right. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> and go. <laughs> well, number one, I mean, the, you know, he, uh, critical drinker might be Irish, but Vash Sky is often mispronounced. It's actually Vash Ski. It's his like real name, Vash Ski, and so that indicates he's Eastern European. So he's got a bit more of a liver. But despite that, he chooses to avoid the temperatures that is booze. And there's, this is evidenced by the MRI scan of, uh, of you know, of critical drinkers of his liver. This is uh, Vash Sky's liver right here. Okay, look at that. He's got good liver function. Now oh, let's get a look at uh, Critical Drinker's liver. Right there. Look at that. That is not desirable. That is not optimal liver function. We got Vash Sky oh liver my. MRI and Critical Drinker's liver. So due to reduced liver function, he's a little slow on the uptick. So what happens is while he's on that bar stool, Vash Sky uses uh, you know, strength and intelligence intellect to grab the bar from underneath the bar. Because remember the bar, you have that little footrest. So he rips the pipe yeah. out. Then he Whoa. spins Critical Drinker around like this. And while he's spinning, he's just going like this. It's like the cartoon where they're bunk, 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 bunk. And he's just spinning automatically, auto-rotating like a helicopter or something. And so, of course, you know, he's got like five lumps on Three his seconds. head. And in conclusion, yeah, of course it was Vash Sky Whoa. in my, you know, in, in my analysis. Oh, okay. wow. All right. Anybody I, ball game right now? It is. It is. All right. Mrs. Flu. Go. Yes. Well, you know, we have just looking at names alone and then look at these look at these faces. Hi, Vash. Um, so Vash here, look at that. He's got his big mean angry face on. And then you've got Critical Drinker over there who's just grinning. He's like, look at me. I'm a critical drinker and I here drink so much that I'm gonna talk through my teeth because I can barely stand up because I drink so much. And Vash 
you know, he's just going to come in with his powerhouse self and because Critical Drinker is talking to his teeth because he can really stand out, he's just going to get knocked over by Bash. Bash is just going to have to come over. He's going to do the one finger on the forehead thing. Thunk! He's going to, Critical Drinker's going to fall over and Vash is going to be victorious. Okay. And he's a cutie patootie. Good job, Bash. Yes. Oh, wow. All right. There you go. Um, Punk Bottle, go. All right. So it's the night before the fight. It's, a, it's the way I'm, it's the trash talk. You know, the cameras have walked away. It's just Vash and Critical Drinker. He says, how about, how about a shot? You know? Uh, just says to toast this gentleman. Bash guy says, "Okay, how about a fireball?" Well, sneaky guy, he puts actual fireball in Bash guys. Then he pours some Bacardi 151 in his. Before I know it, well, Bash is taken down in his shot. You got Ooh. Critical Drinker breathing fire, heat, all that high content flames. You know, with a lighter fireball right in Bash's face. You know. Bash like oh, no. he's he's caught he's taken aback he can't see because you know he's used to staring at the computer and typing but no critical drinker yeah he's probably had a few he's uh in that kind of wobbly stage and uh well then then we go for the uh well we pick up a few bottles throw it at you know Vash is trying to wave him off and um five seconds you know Vash you're a great guy but I think y y you went in too strong. And uh, don't don't find a drunkard in his home home territory. So uh, I think the drinker takes this one just because on home oh, turf. Man, that no. means that we are neck and neck right now. Okay, so now you guys got to deliberate for the next like one whole, maybe two minutes, depending on how it goes. And go deliberate. Honestly, look, look at those faces, guys. Look at those faces. Yeah, it's I, possible as a critical drinker being a Scotsman is actually the Highlander, so he yeah. might actually be immortal. True. I don't probably think does true. play more. I think um, that's true. I mean, look at the way he's having to grin. He's having to grin so hard just to stand I mean, for his selfie. Look at that. Yeah, but he also can't feel pain. You can't feel pain when you're that drunk. Uh, that's yeah, true. Well, that's but you can also fall over a lot easier when you're that drunk, too. It's called yeah. a tolerance level. And then it goes right to intolerance and look boop. the 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 quiet rage of Vash burns like a wildfire, but it burns out fast. Unlike the no. unlike a lot of wildfires, it you know no, it, no, rage no, no. doesn't last long. See, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't Vash need doesn't to when you have the power of one finger to knock you. Vash down. doesn't know if he likes periwinkle blue, but the critical drinker does. What is that? Caravans. I mean, nice. I mean, that 151 thing is compelling, and he might need it because when he injures himself, he can't hear it, and he's going to need that 151 to disinfect his wound. But if Vash doesn't use the 151 answer, then now he's got a broken hip that he's still trying to fight on. And you know what happens when you keep fighting on a painful hip that you can't feel? You make it worse. So, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't think he's going to be a safe bet. Now, what Marvin said, yeah, he might be immortal. My question to that is, does it mean he can live forever and still be injured? Or does it mean he lives forever despite the biggest Godzilla atomic firing? Or something like that. The, the, only, way, the only way you can take it, you could beat an immortal is to take the head. And then you Look, take the power. Vash oh, guy, okay, that he, makes he, it harder. He, uh, you know, Disney and entertainment in check. Drinker, he's yeah. here to take down whoever gets in his way. I mean, uh, I disagree. I disagree. I think he's just pounded back those drinks so, so hard and so fast that I think he I just think can't even stand. I think Bromable is a fan of Critical Drinker because he, he probably wants him to come over to his bar and hang out because well Probably. they could have a lot in common. Okay. Well, keep in mind also the critical drinker now a friend of Piers Morgan. Maybe Piers Morgan with the run in helps the critical uh, drinker win. All right. Well, we are going to wrap this up now. You guys have to do your final votes, and we'll start with Punk Waddle and work our way down. All you know, right. Punk Waddle. For the Shoot. drunken sailors, the drunk Waddle's in the house. Yeah. We're going with Critical Drinker. Well, okay, Mrs. Flo. All right, so I see Critical Drinker over there with his muscles and yeah. all of the things, but you know what? I'm a loyal flu, and yeah. I'm saying Vash. Vash can take him. Okay, Ronnie. 
Unlike last time where I was a turncoat and an unfaithful elector, I'm sticking with you, Vash. <laughs> okay, okay. that's running. Right. Oh, wow. Marvin. Look, at the end of the day, I'm reading the guy's book. I know the kind of mind that he has and the things that he can dream up. And I, I don't think Vash can, can handle that. I think it's the critical mm -hmm. drinker all the way. Oh, my. Uh -oh. We have another vote. <sighs> Here to the chat! Go. To the All chat! Right, chat. Do the right thing, it's chat. It's at 50-50 <gasps> oh, no. right now. No <laughs> way! I mean, Dead. if he's got Muller in his corner, Nine. he's probably stood in bash tape Eight. all year long. Silence. And it was Seven. the same one. Six. Right. Oh, come on. It was the same 30 second Make video. Make people get accounts, oh, guys. Three. Two. Oh, what do we got here? One. This is going. And... The critical drinker pulled a head. No! Vindicated. He's had to fight and claw his way to this point, facing against several opponents unsure of how this final showdown would go. But courageously, he stepped into the ring and came out swinging. And now he stands tall on sharing this podium with only the victors of YouTuber Showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with the greatest of all honors that I present to you the winner of this year's YouTuber Showdown, Critical Drinker! And here's your crown. Ah, oh, oh, man. It's just... Whew, that, that, that fight was intense okay there's no question about that at all uh I, I you know i can i can truthfully say that i left it all on the line uh all on the all on the field the mat whatever uh it's just I, I left it all out there okay that's what i'm saying and look you gotta give critical drinker his due uh, the dude is a tremendous YouTuber, but maybe even a better fighter right there. And I don't know if you guys saw. I don't know if you, if the audience saw right there. Uh, Wilton, Floral, I, 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 Punk Waddle, uh, Mrs. Flu. I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but his secret weapon right there, it's no joke. It's this right here. This, uh, you know what it is, right? A little bit of Tennessee, uh... You know, Jack Daniels for you. You really, you really can't beat this. And, uh, well, interesting about beating, he beat me over the head with it. I mean, uh, the nerve on the guy. So, he takes a swig, takes this, beats me over. That sounded bad. What are you going to do? I mean, that's just, it's just terrible. And all I have, really, to defend myself with was a friggin' lightsaber, right? That doesn't even turn on, so that's not great. Uh, I tried blocking it with, uh, obviously, you gotta do Sun Tzu's Art of War right here, but, of course, you know, that, uh, that doesn't really stand up to a friggin' whiskey bottle being hurled at you, and it was just too much right there, so, yeah, you gotta give the old Scott credit, he is, uh, a tremendous fighter, tremendous opponent, and, you know, it, disappointing, uh, for sure, but, you know, that's just how this cookie crumbles sometimes right there, or how the whiskey is drank in this, in this instance. Um, but no, tremendous YouTuber, tremendous, uh, contributor, uh, to, uh, various channels, not only his own, but others, like Ixon Gamers or Neurotic, for instance. Um, uh, nice, nice team-ups there for sure, so, all, all the credit to him, I understand, I get it, you know, didn't, didn't win this time, but don't worry. We'll get him next year. Thank you, guys. Here, Vash Sky, signing off. Good day. Hey there. So what you just watched was a portion of our live show that happens on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Apparently, you were too lazy to be there that time, but maybe you'll be there next time. Remember, Wednesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern.